I'm here with Dr. David Brownstein. He's an expert about iodine. So you have a book out? My book's Iodine, Why You Need It, Why You Can't Live Without It, and it's in its fifth edition. Give us a general overview about iodine, because iodine is something that not very many people are aware about and is frequently deficient in our North American diets. So iodine is the most misunderstood nutrient. Um, it's deficient in over 95% of people. Uh, conventional medicine doesn't recognize that. And the consequences of this deficiency are problems with all the glandular tissue, which is the thyroid, the breast, the ovaries, the uterus, and the prostate. And that's all the tissues we're having all these problems with right now, with one in seven women having breast cancer, one in three men having prostate cancer, all the thyroid problem that's out there. And I say it's all directly related to this iodine deficiency epidemic that we're seeing. So what's the best way to combat iodine deficiency? Well, number one, you can get your iodine levels checked and see where you are. And then you can take natural forms of iodine. And once the body is supplied with the right forms of iodine, those glandular tissues start to work a lot better. So one of the natural forms of iodine would be seaweed. Seaweed would be a natural form of iodine, and it was used for centuries as a good source of iodine. The problem now is that if the seaweed is harvested from uh, the ocean where it is pollution, it can take up bromide or fluoride or chlorine and not have as much iodine in it. And the other problem with seaweed now is the radiation problem from Fukushima, where a lot of the seaweed came from Japan, and you know who knows the quality of that stuff right now. So what's another source other than fortified salt, table salt, which isn't the best source, right? Well, only 10% of iodine in table salt is absorbable. Um, I don't think that's the best way to get it in. And my research shows that supplementing with iodine and the old form of iodine, Lugol's iodine, which has been around since the 1800s, is an adequate source of iodine. There's tableted forms of Lugol's that are out there. There are other sources of iodine that are out there as well, but I think that's the best way to do it. So what's the most dramatic thing you've seen when someone has changed their level of iodine? Well, iodine is responsible for maintaining the normal architecture of the glandular tissue. That includes the breasts, the ovaries, uterus, thyroid, and the prostate. In iodine deficiency, you start to get problems in the architecture of those tissues. They start to form cysts and nodules, and eventually cancer can happen. So the most dramatic thing I see is people with fibrocystic breasts or cysts on their prostate or tumors on these glandular tissues that just go away when they're given iodine. Not all the time, but in many cases, that's what happens. What do you recommend in terms of daily intake of iodine? Everybody should have their levels checked and work with an iodine knowledgeable healthcare practitioner. But the Japanese, we estimate, takes in about, on average, about 13 milligrams a day. So I think safely, 13 milligrams a day for most people can be a starting dose, but those who have problems with their glandular tissue may need more. But again, I would suggest getting your levels checked before starting treatment and work with a knowledgeable healthcare provider. What are other uses of iodine? Because what I've used it for is removal of my moles with iodine. Well, that's an old time remedy for iodine. Another old time remedy for iodine is for um, cystic ovaries. Um, iodine's been used over antiquities for many issues, particularly thyroid issues. And for hypothyroidism, um, iodine can help the thyroid regenerate itself where people no longer need thyroid hormone. I mean, iodine's got a long storied history of uses for skin disorders and glandular problems. Okay, hey, wonderful. So I will tell everybody to check out your website and to buy your book. And what are you going to speak about tonight? I'm going to speak about iodine. And I have a three-hour talk on iodine tonight coming up in about an hour. Wonderful. Thank you so much.